Hi folks, Jesse Randall with MSU Forestry Innovation Center. We're coming to you today from the west side of our sugar bush. We're really excited. This is a project that's been in the works now for the last six to eight months. Uh, we worked with Bickler Concrete and Gravel over in Escanaba to bring our uh, concrete blocks over here. And uh, so we've got now four feet, we're calling it the sap pit. So we've got four feet in the ground and what we're going to do is we're going to be today dropping the tank into that hole or placing the tanks into that hole. Now these tanks are vacuum, they're zero tanks. So we're gonna pull a vacuum on these tanks. The reason we're putting two of these tanks in the ground is we want to have a, a dual system here. We want to have a traditional uh, single line main line, which will hold uh, both sap and vacuum. And then on half the sugar bush, we're going to have a wet dry line system. So a really nice experimental and demonstration sugar bush here. So it takes two tanks. So we've got two, identif two identical tanks. Uh, Kyle's going to lift it off of the trailer that Mitch is driving in right now. Um, we're going to use this backhoe to lift it and to set it into the uh, into the pit and then what we're going to do is the tanks had to go in first then we're going to build a four foot kicker wall or a knee wall and we're going to put a simple roof on it again one of it is to keep that sap clean and to keep everything in under cover and the other uh, is just to to uh, make it look professional We have uh, our first tank in the ground, and uh, so these are zero tanks. They're uh, able to have a vacuum pulled on it. We're also gonna put in here uh, a new electric uh, vacuum pump. It'll be on an electric motor. And we're, we're also contemplating looking to the future of needing bigger tanks or using a sap releaser. And so we're gonna have the power company. We're gonna work with Upco to come in, and they're going to uh, trench or actually they're a horizontally bore from the telephone pole across the road under the ground into our our brand new service over here and so this will be a standalone 200 amp power service and then we will trench from there into our sap house for our power system that we'll need and uh, so we pretty much have our power meter socket and wall ready to build we're hoping to get the power in this fall before the ground freezes and so we're just waiting on the company to come in and they will uh, horizontally bore and uh, and get us some some power so with that we'll probably have one or two meter sockets here and uh, and then we will utilize that in our sap house we may even pump the sap out into the waiting tanker uh, to truck it over to our new boiling facility so it's a beautiful day out here in the fall in the UP and a little bit windy, but uh, we're protected here on the west side of the, the sugar bush. And so uh, we'll put another tank in here and then we'll start building our sap house cover onto this one. So follow along, like and subscribe uh, to our, our Uper Forestry uh, YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter and find us at the Forestry Innovation Center website.